This hour brought to you by GCNLife.com. Live younger, look younger, feel younger at GCNLife.com. Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, And to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 33 years of practicing pharmacy. I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, we are your go-to resource for all things health and and nutrition. If you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you would like to purchase Longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase Longevity products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website for a one-time $30 fee. You can be in business for yourself. Call 866-735-2470 if you want to speak to a real live human being or click on the join the team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Also, would like to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, prescription strength skin health products without the prescription, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side. We have been talking about the idea of memes, memetics versus mechanisms. Memes are belief systems, ideas that get stuck into the culture the way a virus enters into the culture. They transport themselves through uh, idea memes, transfer themselves, mind viruses, transfer themselves like a regular virus using uh, culture to transmit itself. Now we have the internet to transmit memes. The Internet is an ideal way of transmitting memes. In fact, the case could be made that much of what goes through the Internet is based in memetics and belief systems. And uh, this has to be contrasted against mechanisms. Mechanisms is how things work. Memes are easy. The brain thinks this way normally. And learning memetically takes far less energy than trying to learn through uh, by understanding how things work. Critical thinking. Critical thinking is the opposite of memetics. Critical thinking, how things work. The brain doesn't like to do critical thinking. If we had to teach anything in schools, what we should be teaching is how to critically think, how to analyze information. We don't learn how to analyze information. And the brain doesn't like to do it anyway. If it has a choice, it's always going for the meme. This is why we have prejudice and stereotypes, racial prejudices and racial stereotypes. It's much easier to think in in uh, large quantities than to analyze cases individually. It's much easier for the brain to just make, sh- take mental shortcuts and, s- and uh, look at something as if it's part of a group. And this is why prejudice and stereotypes are so predominant and problematic. See, memes can be, deact- uh, memes can be deactivated. Critical thinking is a way of deactivating memes. Memes don't stand up to mental examination. They don't stand up to scrutiny. If you examine things, you'll see that you can deactivate memetics. The medical model is a classic example. If we do some critical thinking about the failure of the medical model, we will stop deifying it. But because it's become a meme, we don't 
really spend the time to see how many people are dying from medical errors or how often it is that a doctor actually helps somebody with high blood pressure or diabetes or how often drugs actually will make somebody better. If, you do, if we do some critical thinking on the, on, on the business of pharma, pharmacy, we'd see that no drugs ever work. All it takes is a little critical thinking, but the meme is that drugs are important. That's why we have uh, uh, Bernie Sanders talking about universal prescriptions. They call it universal health care, but it means universal prescriptions. See, memes are interesting. Sometimes a meme will start off as a critical thought, a scientific idea, and then it devolves. So the idea of the, the pharmacomedical model, that started off as a critical thought. It devolved into a meme. It started off as a critical thought back in the Enlightenment, back in the 16th century. Then it devolved gradually into what we have today. The word natural, that started off as a critical thought because you want to eat, and you want to eat naturally. You want to eat as, as close to what the body has naturally or has evolved to, uh, to want to eat. But then it became a, just a, a, a jargon term. It became a meme. Organic, gluten, MTHFR. You heard of that one? That's another meme that's out there. I can't have, I have to have methylfolate. I can't have folic acid. Keto, the diets are all oftentimes, they start off as a critical thought and they go into a meme. Keto, paleo, even the Mediterranean diet. They start off as scientific ideas and then they get, they get dumbed down, basically. And they get misunderstood, they get misused, and they get abused too. Because, you see, memes can be intentionally constructed. They can be intentionally constructed by critical thinkers. Now... Memetics is kind of an inferior way of processing information. It's a shortcut. Critical thinking is much more sophisticated. Critical thinking can actually be used to construct memes. This is what self-help is about. Self-help is literally constructing your own personal memes that help you. And because the brain likes shortcuts, it's a, really an excellent way to change your life if you have a problem, any kind of problem in your life. Self-help is, that's basically what self-help is about. It's about constructing mental shortcuts, good habits, you could think of them as. A habit is a type of meme. If you do a habit, you're actually using a mental shortcut. So habits can be memes. Advertisers, that's their goal in life is to make their memes habits and marketers. But you can use memes, you can, you can intentionally construct memes that are good for you. Power, uh, personal empowerment memes, personal empowerment, sh mental shortcuts to make yourself stronger and better. Athletes use them all the time. It's called positive thinking, but you can think, you can, it, it can be uh, perceived, I should say, to make, uh, it can be interpreted as a type of positive meme construction. Positive thinking is positive meme construction. On the other hand, meme construction can be manipulated by those who do not have an individual's best interest. Those are the advertisers. Those are the marketers. That's the goal of advertising. The goal of marketing is to construct memes that get you to buy. Not in your interest, in their interest. And there's something not so nice about doing that. Much of society and culture is constructed by meme engineers, by memetics, the science of memes. Patriotism is a meme. Religion is a meme or uses memes, I should say. Institutions, in general, love to use memes because memes are such a powerful way of controlling behaviors. And an institution needs to control the behaviors of those it institutes. Advertising, news. The news is a classic example of the, of the spreading of memes. These are, all, these are the tools of the engineers of society who are controlling behaviors. And, and creating policies and, and trying to shape and structure a society. The classic use to me, and probably the most dangerous of all the memes, are the ones in the world of health and the world of medicine. That, that's, where you're, you know, that's where you play with people's bodies. That is just, that's especially nasty to me. Medicalization and, uh, uh, and vaccines, the, when I say medicalization, I, I mean the idea that, that we have to go to the doctor for everything vaccinations, the demonization of alternatives. That's a, that's, pro, that's a really bad one where they make it sound like you're a quack if you like nutrition or if, if you're, you're a health nut. If you pay attention to supplementation, that's a nasty way of controlling uh, behavior with memes.
glorification of foods, the glorification of fast, fast foods, glorification of processed foods. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll continue on the bright side right after this. Fellow patriots, my name is Todd Savage, founder of BlackRifleRealEstate.com. Like you, I was a prisoner of the alt-left sanctuary state until one day I chose to lead my family to freedom. Today we live on a sustainable 20-acre homestead where we shoot, hunt, garden, and homeschool our children without the tyranny of the nanny state looking over us. If you're ready to flee the city to the freedom of Idaho or Montana, our Black Rifle Real Estate team is here to help. Go to BlackRifleRealEstate.com. That's BlackRifleRealEstate.com. Jake was in big trouble with the IRS. He owed how much? $92,000. Ouch. The IRS left no room for Jake to breathe. They put a lien on my house, took all the money out of my bank account, took money out of my paychecks. So it was a nightmare. He needed help fast. I figured that all these companies were the same until I called federal tax management. You could just tell they knew what they were talking about. Right then and there, I felt like I had some hope. Stop the liens, levies, and garnishments fast and qualify for one of several special IRS programs that could reduce or even eliminate your tax debt. So how did it go for Jake? They did what they said they would do. They came through for me. I ended up saving an unbelievable amount. I was so jazzed. I was extremely happy. If you owe more than $10,000 in back taxes, take Jake's advice. Give federal tax management a phone call. If they help me, they can help anybody. Call the federal tax management hotline now 800-503-8625-800-503 all right we are back on the bright side 844-236-6010 is our number got lines open 844-236-6010 if you have questions about the longevity products longevity business health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with if you have a comment about this idea of memes, what do you what do you think about this? Critical thinking versus memes, memes versus mechanism is how I like to put it. If you have a take on that, I'd love to hear that. 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. So uh, memes versus mechanisms. That's the cool thing. Memes can be kind of it can be kind of like a you know, you can get kind of ticked off, actually. I get ticked off. But you got to understand that we have a way of protecting ourselves against memes by critical thinking. But it takes work and it takes energy. And keep in mind, you could construct your own personal memes. Keeping them, they're all, there's just memes. It's not like memes are necessarily bad. It's just that you want to know when you're operating without thinking. You want to know when you're operating memetically. If you're operating memetically for performance, I think I can, like the little engine that could, that's, uh, that is, uh, that's a, a powerful way to use a meme. The problem is, is when we use memes unconsciously, or we, we work with memes unconsciously, or we, we behave under the rulership or the guidance of memetics unconsciously. That's what a racial stereotype is. Racial stereotypes don't stand up to, to critical thinking. Critical thinkers operate and carry on their business and carry on their lives in a different way than people who operate with memes. This shows up a lot of times in uh, politics. People who critically think. Here's another thing about memes. Memes tend to perpetuate themselves, and it's hard to have a critical thinking. It's hard to interact with somebody who's operating memetically if you're operating as a critical thinker. If you're operating as a critical thinker, you will... There'll be too much nuance in how you are operating. Critical thinking it has nuance. It's not cut and dry because not everything is the same. So critical thinking has, while well, it's more powerful than using memetics, in a way, it's very difficult to change somebody else's memes, to change somebody else's memetics with critical thinking. They have to be volunteer. They have to be willing to do it. People who try to argue the facts with somebody who's operating memetically, it becomes very frustrating. The classic medical meme, the medical memes to me are the worst ones because they involve our health. And the classic one is the one about the infallibility of the medical model represented by the doctor. It's taken about 100 years to stick that meme into the culture. That meme wasn't there as much anyway. It really became entrenched with the Flexner Report at the beginning of the 20th century. 
That's when it, the, the meme of the infallibility of the medical model, the pharmacomedical model, and the infallibility of the doctor, like a pope, actually, uh, that began in the, early, in the early part of the 20th century. It became a, uh, it became a, a part, a consciously inoculated virus into the culture somewhere around 1920 or, or maybe early 20th century. But it was gradually happening. All medicine has failure built into it. And you can see this with medical error. Critical thinking will show you that all medicine has failure built into it. In other words, medicine can't really work. It can fix you if you're damaged in terms of surgery. Yes, that's true. It'll never, it, it can't fix you like your body can fix you. It can, it can stitch things up. The body has a repair system that's infinitely times more complex than the one, the, the one that you get from the medical model. Nonetheless, there are times when uh, that aspect of medicine can be very, very valuable and life-saving, and nobody disputes that. But the idea of using medicine for chronic long-term degenerative disease, for lifestyle disease, the idea of going to the doctor for a drug is a intentionally injected virus into the culture, for those, uh, injected by those who will profit from it. It doesn't stand up to critical thinking, so we don't, want, we don't need to freak out about it. It does not stand up to critical thinking. That's so cool. That is really important to understand. We don't have to fall for it. The medical model has this, and by the way, remember, the medical model probably started off as a good thing. It, it didn't start off as being intentionally manipulative, but when certain business interests found that they could make so much money on it, it became irresistible. So uh, the idea of the, uh, the, the core idea of the medical model is that you can take part, you can treat separate parts you, can, you don't have to see it as a system, and, and the whole idea of the body as a system really didn't get going until like pretty recently, maybe the last hundred years or so, although a lot of people intuited it, understood it intuitively. It, didn't really get, it really didn't get understood until we started to develop something called systems theory, basically, and systems theory is how systems work. Systems theory says that you can't take one part out of a system and not change the system. A system is, by definition, a bunch of parts that, that work, all work together. That's what a system is. Like a watch is a classic example of a system. If you, take one, you may have 100 gears or 1,000 gears in a watch. I don't even know how many there are in a watch, probably in the hundreds. You take one out, you no longer have a working watch. It's not like you can just take one little gear out and have hundreds of them. If you take one component out of your car's engine, you're not going to have a fully functioning engine. It's not going to work. Just one component. Because it's a system, and the human body is the same way. If you take the gallbladder out, you're going to have a different type of human being. You're going to have a, a, a human being that is less able to navigate through the world because that gallbladder was put there for a reason, through God or through evolution or whatever you want to say. Now, the body has a lot of redundancy, so the liver can pick up a little bit of the slack if you have your gallbladder taken out, but you're still going to have some kind of drop off in performance even if you don't notice it something something is not going to be working as well if you take a part out of a part out of the system out of the body and I'm, when i say take out a part out i'm not just talking about literally removing it surgically when we take drugs we are literally taking a part of the body out a part of the chemistry of the body out so you're changing the body and you can't have the same system you're creating a, a different system you're creating a different type of body and because if you believe in the, in the unbelievable inerrancy of the body, and the, the, which I do, and the power of the body to, the stupendous power of the body to adjust, to homeostatically adjust to its environment, once you take a part out, it's not going to be able to adjust as well. You can't help but shorten your life once you take a part out, whether you take a part out uh, surgically or whether you take a part out uh, chemically, pharmacologically. The medical model depends on the reductionist idea that we are just a bunch of parts stuck together, and if you take a part out, it doesn't matter. Doctors will literally tell you you can live just fine without a gallbladder. That's what they believe, because they believe that the body is just a bunch of parts. Holism, health, by the way, comes from the word whole, interestingly, right? How can you be a healthcare professional if you're carving the body up? Health means whole, holism. Holism and health is in... Uh, it's in our wheelhouse. 
We can do it ourselves. Food, oxygen, nutrition, movement. These have nothing to do with doctors. Nowhere is medicine involved here in holism, in health. Unless you, unless you have a heart, you know, have some kind of surgical procedure, emergency surgery you need, and I understand that. I'm not naive about that. But in, in terms of how our body lives, there's no, lives day to day, there's no real place for medicine. Food, oxygen, uh, thoughts, spirituality, emotion, nutrition, exercise, respira uh, respiration. All of these are things that we can do ourselves. All right, I'm Farms. It's Ben 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. By now, you know that wireless technology like cell phones do, in fact, pose dangers to the health and privacy of everyone. Blocket Pocket's wide range of products are unmatched in providing the protection you deserve. No scare tactics, just common sense. BlockitPocket.com offers quality, American-made options to alleviate and eliminate these invisible dangers. Learn more at BlockitPocket.com or call 888-315-9618. BlockitPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. Former White House Communications Chief Hope Hicks is behind closed doors with members of the House Judiciary Committee. Hicks spent years as a close aide and advisor to Donald Trump before and after he was in the White House. The White House ordering Hicks not to answer questions about her time at the White House, setting up a possible legal dispute with Democrats, although Hicks was interviewed extensively by former special counsel Robert Mueller's team. She now works for Fox News. The the Democrat Party has become more radical, more dangerous, and more unhinged than at any point in the modern history of our country. President Trump there kicking off his re-election bid at a huge rally in Orlando last night. Senate Democrat and White House hopeful Kamala Harris reacts to his speech. This president wants us to keep looking in the rearview mirror instead of looking out of the front windshield. And this is USA Radio News. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-561-5716. That's 800-561-5716. Again, 800-561-5716. Ed Fuchs is a registered pharmacist who understands how important the B complex of vitamins is for maintaining a healthy heart. That's why he drinks Pollen Burst from Longevity's complete line of nutritional supplements. Pollen Burst has got the B vitamins in there, and the B vitamins are so fascinating because most people are going to be deficient in the B vitamins because they're rapidly processed out of food. And the B vitamins work on the brain, the heart, the skin, and the digestive system. When it comes to heart disease, we got 600,000 people in this country who die of heart disease every year. Some 64 million Americans have some form of heart disease. The B vitamins, a nickel's worth of B vitamins every day is the most powerful nutritional way to protect yourself from heart disease. To feed your heart the nutrients it needs for good health, order Longevity's Pollen Burst by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or on the web at brightsidebed.com. That's brightsidebed.com. Bags under the eyes, crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles are things adults complain about as they age. Now, there's Instantly Ageless. It works in minutes and is great for men and women. Here's Dr. Sonia Bacha, 
on the doctors. So this is a product we're going to see if it works. It's called Instantly Ageless. And the idea is that it works very quickly as you just need a very small amount. And then you apply it to areas where you might be a little bit puffy. I have just looked at what's in this product. And one of them is something called Argyroline, which is sort of a darling in dermatology right now. It's a peptide or a protein that actually relaxes the muscle. It's also called Botox in a bottle. The other active ingredient in this is silicates, which are almost act like a clay. They're minerals. And they're making the skin sort of tighter. It's actually increasing the surface tension on the skin to push that herniated fat pad back. Try Instantly Ageless today at GCNLife.com. That's GCNLife.com. 30-day money-back guarantee and preferred price discount at GCNLife.com. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNLive.com today. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you, and we will get your calls here momentarily. Tomorrow, we're going to talk to Mina Samuels, who uh, has written a book about, she's an athlete, actually, and she's written a book about running, and I forgot the name of the book here, but uh, her, her gig is that uh, being an athlete has a lot to do with how you live your life. The book is called Run Like a Girl, 365 Days a Year, a practical, personal, inspirational guide for women athletes. But she's much more, she, she does much more than talk about women, women athletics. She talks about using athletic skills for life. And that, uh, as we've said on this program many times, life is an athletic event. And if an athlete's doing something, we want to do it too. So she's going to talk to us tomorrow about uh, the idea of using performance skills, athlete, athletic performance skills for life performance. And she's got some really interest, interesting things to say. We'll talk to her tomorrow about, uh, about her book, and, uh, Run Like a Girl, and also about her ideas of using athletic skills and athletic tricks to have a very good and fulfilled and content and actualized life. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Donald Trump Jr., Yesterday, what are we, why would we talk about Donald Trump Jr. on a health show? Well, Donald Trump Jr. is now talking about health, I guess. So we'll talk about Donald Trump Jr. on our health show. He asks, why didn't you cure cancer decades ago, Joe Biden? Joe Biden famously said a couple of years ago, we're going to cure cancer. I heard, I think Donald Trump said the same thing. Donald Trump Sr. said the same thing. He's going to cure cancer. Cancer can't be cured. Cancer is not a disease. Cancer is a cellular adaptation, the end result of a cellular adaptation, a cellular adaptation to stress, a cellular adaptation to suffocation, a cellular adaptation to nutritional deficiency, a cellular adaptation to toxicity. It's a way a cell deals with a crappy situation. It's not a disease. What we have to do is we have to resolve the crappy situation. This is where, this is where remissions come from. Remissions happen all the time. Somehow a situation, and by the way, people get cancer and cancer disappears all the time. The people don't even know they had cancer. You know that about cancer? You can Google that. You can Google a New York Times article that came out in, in 2010 about how cancer cells come and go. And scientists know this. You don't hear about it. Your doctor doesn't know about it probably. So you don't cure cancer. We don't want to even look at it that way. Well, if, God forbid, we get this diagnosis, which is obviously the most horrific diagnosis, or one of the most horrific diagnoses somebody could get, your job is to make your body stronger. Make your body more able to handle duress. That is, with nutrition, with oxygen, with movement, with all the things we always talk about on this program. So don't wait for a cancer cure. Make your body stronger. Speaking of which, a little sun may help you. Sur uh, survive cancer. This is from uh, uh, researchers at Madrid University. They found that a daily, vitamin, a daily vitamin D supplement or sunshine, I prefer sunshine personally, a little sunbathing or taking a vitamin D supplement or eating foods that have vitamin D in them, eggs, red meat, they can all help you survive cancer. Why? Vitamin D is a strength vitamin. Vitamin D is an anabolic vitamin. In fact, vitamin D isn't even a vitamin. It's a substance that's made from cholesterol in response to the sun. 
It's a substance that uh, is, is it's basically cholesterol. And we, you know, we say it's made from cholesterol, but that doesn't really have the impact of saying it is cholesterol. Vitamin D is a form of cholesterol. This is just when you say it that way, you, you really understand how important cholesterol is. Vitamin D is a building substance as cholesterol is a building substance. It's an anabolic substance. It's a coping substance. It helps us cope. And vitamin D deficiency has been on, according to this article, has been on the agenda of the American Society of Clinical Oncology's annual conference uh, for years. Michigan State University researched more than 80,000 people and discovered that taking a vitamin D supplement for three years or longer reduced deaths from all cancers by 13%. Vitamin D helps you deal with life. How cool is that? The sun helps you deal with life. That's called adaptation. The sun being a powerful energy source in the sky, we had to learn to adapt to it. We had to learn to become better in the, it, when we were exposed to the sun. We had to learn, our bodies had to learn to become stronger when they were exposed to the sun. So guess what the body did? It evolved a mechanism for creating strength chemicals, strength molecules in response to the sun. And that's what vitamin D is. Vitamin D is a strength molecule, an anabolic molecule, a repair molecule, a disease-fighting molecule, and a moon-boosting molecule. Everything good about the body is associated with vitamin D, and it comes from the sun. Tell that to the next, next knucklehead who tells you you should stay out of the sun. And I know you can get supplements, but the vitamin D supplements and even food vitamin D is not as good as the kind we get from the sun. All right, 844 is our number. Let's go to the phones and say good morning to Mike in New York. What's up, Mike? How you doing? Yeah, hey, Ben. Um, hey, um, I'm actually driving to work, and I was a little choppy. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you well. What's, what's up? How okay. can we help you? All right. All right, yes. Uh, first, I wanted to comment on the true treatment products. I purchased some, and they were great. Honestly, the only problem I have is that I still have a little bit of a cystic acne issue, so it makes it stand out a little more. Um, no, a couple things about that. A couple things about that. First of all, uh, you're using too much. Okay. Okay. So use you got and that's the biggest problem that my true treatments that I really have to educate people on is that it's so concentrated. I mean, everybody says concentrated, but this is like uber concentrated, ridiculously concentrated, two drops kind of thing. That, that, to me, that creates value for you. So use the mist with it if you need to or some water with it, but I, I really want to create a super concentrated product. Secondly, the cysts are from the inside. You do know that. I know. I, I think you've, listened, you've been listening to the program probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So you got to deal with that. Cysts are always from the inside. Cysts that appear on the skin are always from the inside. There, there's, you can't do anything about it topically. Is it digestive or could it be yeah, like... Yeah, uh, it's lymphatic. It's in, the li okay. it's in the lymph. Now, when, okay. when it's in the lymph, it's likely digestion, but it could be a toxicity issue from something else you're doing. Um, smoking could do it. Drugs can do it. But usually it's digestion, yes. I, okay, it's just so hard because it's like... I, it always seems like when I call it, it's always about digestion. It is always, like, always, yeah. always, always, always. Because listen, I'm, I'm, I know I say it periodically, I'm going to say it again. The way the outside world meets the inside yeah. world is the digestive system, okay? It's not like I'm a foodie or I'm a freakazoid about the nutrition, about the digestive system. I'm just telling you, critically thinking, we're critical thinking here, right? The yeah. way the outside, the body is a closed system except for this interface, except for this inside-outside interface at the level of the intestine. Other than that, it's a closed system. That means it's yeah. perfect. It's a closed system. It, it runs like a circle. Things just move. Now, it has to have portals into that closed system, and that's what the digestive system is, as well as the respiratory system and the skin. Those are, yeah. those are places where the outside world meets the inside world, too, but nothing like food. Okay. I was just to say one other quick one other quick thing I just wanted to mention was um is so right now because I still have digestive issues is it possible that there's some mechanical problem with my body or is it yeah it I could be like a hiatal hernia on? yeah it could be something mechanical I mean it's unlikely yeah. but yeah it could definitely be maybe, something mechanical maybe that be something food can't fix. you know you you gotta fast to, to truly get an answer to that kind of answer to that question you gotta fast. Okay. That's the only way to do it. It's the only way to know. All right, All right Mike. I'm going to let you go, buddy. Yeah, I, All right. right. Have Come a good on. day. All right. That's uh, 
Got a couple lines open here, 844-236-6010. We'll be back right after this. When you have a pain in the neck, Ugh. a real pain in the neck, back, shoulder, or legs, you now have two convenient choices to get fast relief without taking another pill. Because now, Sunny Bay heating wraps and pillows are available at both Amazon and Walmart. Yes, see Sunny Bay's four and a half to five star customer reviews on Amazon.com or Walmart.com. Our microwavable heat wraps, heatable neck pillows, and extra large body wraps are designed better for perfect support where and when you need it. Even while driving, Sunny Bay wraps will not burn and stay balanced to provide soothing hot or cold therapy to help treat temporary or chronic pain. And the best part, Sunny Bay quality products start at under $20. Join thousands of happy customers and see why Sunny Bay products have a lifetime 100% positive rating on both Amazon and Etsy. It's easy. Click Amazon or Walmart and search today for Sunny Bay. Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. Do you have a family? Would you like to help make sure they'll be taken care of if anything were to happen to you? If you answered yes, you probably need life insurance. Now, do you think life insurance is expensive? If you answered yes to that, too, you definitely need to give AIG Direct a call. We could find you a quarter of a million dollar policy for just $14 a month, which means you could save hundreds of dollars a year. Call us now for a free, no obligation quote. 1 800 919 5435. Since 1995, we've helped millions of people find out if they could save up to 70% on their term life insurance. See how affordably we can help you protect your family. Call AIG Direct now for your free quote. 1 800 919 5435. You could save up to 70%. That's 1 800 919 5435. 1 800 919 5435. Jake was in big trouble with the IRS. He owed how much? $92,000. Ouch. The IRS left no room for Jake to breathe. They put a lien on my house, took all the money out of my bank account, took money out of my paychecks. So it was a nightmare. He needed help fast. I figured that all these companies were the same until I called federal tax management. You could just tell they knew what they were talking about. Right then and there, I felt like I had some hope. Stop the liens, levies, and garnishments fast and qualify for one of several special IRS programs that could reduce or even eliminate your tax debt. So, how'd it go for Jake? They did what they said they would do. They came through for me. I ended up saving an unbelievable amount. I was so jazzed. <laughs> I was extremely happy. If you owe more than $10,000 in back taxes, take Jake's advice. Give federal tax management a phone call. If they help me, they can help anybody. Call the federal tax management hotline now 800-503-8625 800-503-8625 800-503-8625 have you checked your google search results lately search results are usually the first impression that people form of you or your business so make sure that they create a positive impression with reputation defender what the internet says about you can have a big impact on your life and your livelihood even if it's not true fortunately you can now control how you look online and in online services search results with Reputation Defender. Call 800-831-0771 now. That's 800-831-0771 for your free reputation analysis. If you have negative material from an ex-employee, upset patient, or former client, newspaper article, legal issue, social media, or other source showing up in your search results, you can combat it with Reputation Defender. Our dedicated experts in patented technology can help make your online search results look their best. Call 800-831-0771 810771 to learn more. 800 831 That's 800 831 Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Right side, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010 is our number, and uh, let's go to Texas and say good morning to Margaret. Hi, Margaret. Well, um, hi. Um, well, um, my uh, urea, nitrogen, and bun creatinine and potassium are all high. And you got a I kidney problem. Have, uh, what? You got a kidney problem. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so um, that's why I was going to ask you if that's all kidney. Um, yeah. 
Say, um, say again, uh, bun, what else? What else did you oh, say? Oh, B-U-N, uh, creatinine, and potassium. Yeah, your kidney. That's a kidney issue. Okay. So, uh, so here's the dealio. Whenever you have a kidney issue, you have a blood sugar issue. I shouldn't say whenever. That's the first thing to look for is a blood okay, sugar well, problem. Okay, well, I... I... My blood sugar wasn't high by by the reference range. That was yeah, you know how that high. goes with reference ranges, right? Oh, okay. So I still need to lower it then. Yeah, you want to work on blood sugar. Yeah, you want to work oh, on your okay. blood sugar. Absolutely. Now, uh, if I may ask, how old you are, or approximately uh, yeah, how I, old you? I'm, I'm actually 67 years old. Yeah, you can't not. It's pretty much inevitable in our culture that you'll have a, start to have what's called dysglycemia. That is oh. messed up blood sugar. Dysglycemia. Okay. So it's pretty inevitable. Uh, the, the standards for diabetes are just based on some arbitrary number. Uh, statistic, it's maybe not 100% arbitrary, but it's a statistically based number, and people fall on different different parts of the curve. So you could easily have messed up blood sugar, and it's, probably, hey, my, it's very likely. My glu- glucose level, it showed it was 87. Well, that's not a problem, but we don't know what your insulin's at. Between, Here's the thing. Insulin oh. controls sugar, Okay. Okay. So if your insulin is elevated, that's going to make your blood sugar normal. They don't oh. test for insulin. Oh. I mean, they do. They, you have to ask, and it's expensive, and most doctors don't test for insulin. Oh. So, so it's, you may have insulin, enough insulin to keep your blood sugar normal, but the insulin's the problem. Oh. And they don't test for that. That's how so silly this medical, all, this, yeah. all our medicalization is. So anyway, uh, kidney, you go by your symptoms, and it, it, kidney problems usually mean there's something thrown off in your sugar. Go do keto, ketogenic diet. Start okay. using the sweeties, magnesium, zinc, okay. uh, anything you do to stabilize your blood sugar. Alpha lipoic acid. There's all kinds of nutrients for that. Most importantly, of course, is keeping your blood sugar or keeping your intake of sugar spiking foods down. And then your oh. insulin, then your body won't, your body will be more sensitized to insulin. It won't need as much of it. That's the first thing to do. Now, are you on any medicine? Um, well, only um, hypo, I only have hypothyroidism. For, well, that goes, um, so it goes hand in hand. It, oh. It's all related. So if you're hypothyroid, that means you probably have a digestive thing going on too. So you got to work there. It's triangle disease. Listen, I hate to keep saying the same thing over and over again, but this is how simple everything is. You know, it's just the triangle of disease. It's making your body stronger. If you really, really want to simplify this thing, no matter what your health challenge is, it's the bad stuff has to come out and the good stuff has to come in. That's, a, that's the simple, the, the real it, cutting to the chase the ultimate simplification, good stuff in, bad stuff out. Good stuff means oxygen. It means nutrition. It means um, uh, power thoughts and feelings and spirituality. The bad stuff means processed food and sugar and crappy thoughts. I mean, it's really not, it is not, we, we, we complicate things. We overthink. And the smarter we are, what I noticed is this disease state that we suffer from the most affects smart people more than anything else, and that's called overthinkitis. We overthink. <laughs> we have okay. overthinkitis. Do not overthink this. You know, okay. You'll go nuts overthinking. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? What, so cut what is to the, the, what is go the ahead. ketogenic diet? The ketogenic diet is a diet that is a low sugar carbohydrate, okay. low carbohydrate. High okay. fat diet. High, you said uh, high fat. High fat, but when I say high fat, I say low carbohydrate. I mean oh. low calorie. Oh. So that means that you have to have a high percentage of your calories coming fat from fat. It doesn't mean eating a lot of fat. This is a very important misunderstanding that people have about keto. I was just reading about that uh, an article, uh, a headline on a magazine. It said keto diet. Can you really eat all the fat you want? And that's the, that's the common misperception that the ketogenic diet allows you to eat a lot of fat. No, it means your percentage of your 1,200 calories a day should come mostly from fat. So oh. say if you're doing, six, say, 70 to 80 is what they usually recommend, even up to 90. But let's say 70%, uh, 70% of your calories coming from fat, and you have a 1,200-calorie diet. What are we talking about here? 840 calories from fat. That's not a lot of fat in terms of just raw calories. So 840 of your calories will come from fat, and then say 10%, just for ease of numbering, of your calories, of your 1,200 calories come from carbs. That's 120 calories from carbs. That's not a lot of carbs. And then uh, the rest from protein. 
um, you know, you're, you're not talking about a lot of food. You're talking about, so you, that's the key to the ketogenic diet. It's low calorie. You're not talking about a lot of food. Calories will throw off your blood sugar no matter where they come from um, because protein gets turned into fat and ultimately it'll throw off your blood sugar. Uh, fat, ironically, fat probably has the least effect on it. Uh, but uh, sugar will definitely get turned turned into fat. Obviously, most people know that. All right. Oh, good. I saw do sweeties and um, Mag- magnesium. Seventy percent glu- of my calories should come from fat. Seventy percent or so, but keep your calories down. Make sure cal- That's the ketogenic diet. Keep your oh. calories down to about twelve hundred, and then about seventy percent of those, roughly, depending on how much you you know, some people do up to ninety, uh, should come from fat. Okay. Um, so you said magnesium, ketogenic diet, zinc, and alpha lipoic. I'm, but I'm not being comprehensive here at all. Vitamin A is going to also be important for you. Oh. The oh, glucogenics I, I, from longevity that could also be helpful. All your electrolytes, potassium. I mean, I'm not being. There's a, a hundred different ways that you can use nutrition for lowering your blood sugar. Taurine is important. There's so many different things, but those, that's a good start for you, Margaret. And the sweeties and the glucogenics will make it easy for you if you just want to do one thing. Get sweeties and glucogenics from longevity. That, that has everything in there for you. Oh, your glucogenics? Glucogenics. Okay. Glucogenics. Right? Okay. Um, do you um, ever um, tell people to use any chelators like EDTA or... I love it. Oh, yeah. I talk about chelation. Have you... Have you this is your first... Are you a new listener? Yes. Today? Uh, yes. First time? Well, it's the third or fourth time and I tried to get in the last How did you days. start? How did you, how did you hear about us? Um, um, well, it was, um, because first to start off with Dr. Wallach with Mr. Um, um, George Nori. Oh, uh, gotcha. And then, then I went from there. I, I looked okay, at good. Dr. Wallach and then I also, well, I also heard you on, on with George Nori. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Margaret. Have a beautiful day. I'm glad you called. Okay. Uh, well, All right, take care. Do you, do you, what, does longevity have anything that yeah. is chelator like EDTA? Uh, you know, they don't have anything that's a straight chelator, but MSM acts as a chelator, vitamin C acts as a chelator, oh. and acetylcysteine acts as a chelator, a selenium acts as a chelator. So they have uh, the plant derived minerals act as chelators. Oh. So, yeah, there's various ways that you can use chelation, which is nothing more than a magnetic attraction that minerals have to other substances. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Talk to you later. Thanks so much okay, for calling. Bye. Appreciate it. Hey, Carl, you get the last word. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Carl? Oh, what happened to Carl? Well, we had Carl for a moment there, and Carl's gone, and so is everybody else. So we'll just wind up the show. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind me talking about this uh, whole notion of memes versus mechanisms. I know it's not specifically directed uh, at Ill, uh, a particular target or part of the body. We ha- I have not forgotten to talk about the digestive system. We're still going to continue that, the uh, pancreas and uh, this whole idea. That's how we started this whole conversation. But I think it's very important to recognize that we think mimetically it doesn't serve us and there are interests that are not ours, that are, there are interests that are their interests that are manipulating the, the meanscape, if you will. And understanding how to leverage critical thinking is the way we can be inoculated, the way we can be, uh, it's our antiviral, it's our, it's our vaccination, it's our uh, viral vaccination against uh, the insidious nature of memetics. And keep in mind, we're now, as we now enter into the, the political season, politicians love talking about memetics. And it's one thing when politicians talk about mem- memetics uh, as, far as, uh, as far as taxes go or policy goes or legal stuff goes. But when they start talking about memetics, when it comes to our personal health and our well-being, well, I got to draw the line there. And we want to be able to expose where the memetics appear. And the only way to do it is through scrutiny, mental, mental examination, and what I call critical thinking. So critical thinking applied to health, critical thinking applied to the medical models, the way we can be protected against the crazy advertising and the crazy promotion and the crazy memetic injections that are out there that are not for us, not for us. 
They're there for them. Use critical thinking at all times. If you're operating mimetically when it comes to your health, you're not operating in your own self-interest. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Be sure to check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for our truth skin health products, prescription potency without a prescription. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.